Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. It's Corona time. It's co Hello guys, how are you today? Well, today we have an important lesson. The planets. Alright guys, so let's check the planets. As our first one, right, on the left of the picture, we have the sun, right? Now let's start with the names of the planets. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. As you can see in the picture, they have marked the distance from the sun, okay? So, please pass them on your notebook. Pass the picture in your notebook. Write the names of the planets. And write their distance from the sun, guys. Okay? So, another thing that I want you to do is to study the planets. Let's repeat them one more time. Mercury... Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Each planet has something very specific that makes unique planets, okay? For example, Mercury is the smallest, right? Jupiter is the biggest, Saturn has rings, and the only one with life is the Earth, right? Mars it's supposedly to have life or used to have life so let's learn a little more guys classifying the planets the eight planets are classified in several ways by compositions for example terrestrial or rocky planets which are mercury venus earth and mars the terrestrial planets are composed primarily of rock and metal and have relatively high densities, slow rotation, solid surfaces, no rings, and few satellites. So remember, the terrestrial planets or the rocky planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Next, the Jovian or gas planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The gas planets are composed primarily of hydrogen and helium and generally have low densities, rapid rotation, deep atmosphere rings, and a lot of satellites. So these Jovian or gas planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So please guys, pass this note in your notebook. Now, let's see guys, let's review again the terrestrial planets, remember terrestrial planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and also I want to mention that these planets are called the dwarf planets, the smallest planets from our solar system, but Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars okay remember the only planet with life is planet Earth so please study the terrestrial planets so let's continue with the gas giants or the Jovian planets so the gas giants, we have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It's very important, guys, to mention that I read an article about the gas giants that only mentioned Jupiter and Saturn, because these two planets are made of gas, okay? And they are the biggest planets. Now. Neptune and Uranus I read that 
uh, they are made of ice they are ice planets okay so I'm not sure about this point if you can investigate a little more and tell me okay guys now guys let's talk about the first person on the moon it was 1961 John F Kennedy was the president of the United States he wanted to land humans on the moon the United States had just started trying to put people in space with NASA do you guys know what is NASA right the president and NASA knew they could do it they were ready to put people on the moon so they decided to put Apollo 11's mission on the track the mission was to land two men on the moon they also had to come back to the earth safely Apollo 11 blasted off on July 16 1969 Neil Armstrong Edwin Voss Aldrin and Michael Collins were the astronauts on Apollo 11 Four days later, Armstrong and Aldrin landed on the moon. They landed on the moon in the lunar module. It was called the Eagle. Collins stayed in orbit around the moon. He decided to do experiments from up there and take pictures. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. He and Aldrin walked around the moon for three hours. They made experiments. They picked up bits of moon, dirt and rocks. They put the US flag on the moon. They also left a sign on the moon. The two astronauts returned to the orbit with Collins on July 24, 1969. All three astronauts came back to Earth safely. President Kennedy was very happy. Now, some people guys say that these three astronauts never went to space and it was only a part of a movie, especially the Russian people which also tried to go to space they say that the US never visited the moon what do you guys think okay guys so our, our activity for today is the reading comprehension on students book page 86 Go to student's book page 86. We have discussed these questions from 1 to 10. You're going to answer them right here in the student's book. If you have a question, check the reading previously. Number two, number these statements about the shuttle launch sequence in order. The one that it's on page 84 and 85. Number three, four, do it here. Five, what do you think this activity number five you're going to do it on your notebook guys okay so please do it in your notebook take a picture and send it with your other with your other works that you're going to do in your notebook okay and upload them at Google classroom goodbye guys see you on the next class take care bye